joint mobile group is a very deserving nominate for the Martin Annals Award. Uh, I think they are essentially exemplary uh, in the type of work they do in a very hostile environment. And I think they stand for many human rights defenders who work with great courage, commitment, but with a great deal of professionalism, documenting human rights violations, documenting torture, disappearances and impunity. So the Joint Mobile Group was uh, created uh, in 2009 by several um, human rights organizations in Russia. They play a critical role in ensuring accountability and upholding the rule of law. The members of the Joint Mobile Group go in for maybe a month or six weeks at a time documenting abuses, listening to the victims, preparing um, evidence that they can use. Uh, and then go back to their home cities. Um, where the risk is less and they can uh, decompress. Uh, this is a very innovative approach to an acute human rights need and uh, Igor has been a leader in this and a courageous leader uh, and I think it's um, important to recognise at this time uh, the work he's doing. And it's very crucial because it's the last uh, 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 independent voice from Chechenia speaking about human rights violation in the North Caucasus. The Joint Mobile Group does a lot of work to try to protect victims who are brave enough to actually file complaints. Chechnya is a closed society, it's a small society. Everybody knows it, everybody knows everybody else. And what, what I think all human rights activists have noticed in the past few years since Ramzan, Ramzan Kadyrov has really consolidated power is that there's so much fear. This is such a small place and there's so much fear Nobody wants to come forward anymore. And the Joint Mobile Group, I think, is very adept at, in, first of all, at investigating human rights violations, at understanding the, 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 the security challenges that, the, and the fear that victims face. Um, I found it very moving to hear a member of the group say he didn't have the moral right to be afraid and leave Chechnya without human rights protection. There is a law which um, uh, defamates NGOs who get foreign funding as foreign agents if they do political work. This method of criminalizing um, access to foreign funding uh, is becoming more popular and Russia really is uh, a crucial country in this respect. So uh, we hope that by calling attention to the difficulties that um, Igor Kalyepin is facing now to carry out his vital work, um, we can uh, push back against this uh, damaging trend. And I think it's also a stark reminder that there is a very strong and vibrant human rights community in Russia and that these people fight for their rights. They fight for Russia, not against Russia.